welcome and thank you very much everyone watching this video uh, this video is a continuation of the uh, previous video that uh, uh, I prepared on the topic entitled the determinants of the performance of micro and the small enterprises uh, the case of um, it can be a city it can be a town it, or it can be any administrative unit any location and uh, the title can be fra uh, frame it uh, or um, it can be written in another form uh, as uh, factors affecting the performance of micro and small enterprises in the case of uh, the same thing town or city okay in the later stage of the research you may be com confused okay you may be confused what to study about business um, operation characteristics and how i could study performance how is that i will going to um, study the relationship between performance and uh, factors uh, influencing it okay you know there may be a confusion and to overcome that confusion what I uh, taught in this video is that I will tell you uh, the possible um, uh, the possible business operation characteristics that uh, one can study and um, you know business performance indicator that one can study I am not uh, prescribing you to study uh, this variable and not to study this variable but my um, my verdict here is that my opinion here is that you can uh, study that variables okay i'm just i'm just uh, bringing together the variables or the business operation characteristics uh, that uh, you may possibly uh, that you possibly uh, study in your in your study it is, in, it is not just a, it is not um, you know a prescription okay i'm not i'm not forcing you to um, include the vari all these uh, variables exhaustively into your study and uh, look here uh, when for example specific objective one or uh, research question uh, number one it is about business operation characteristics and uh, you can study for example about production characteristics you can assess uh, how the uh, micro and small enterprises and uh, your study uh, create the goodies how they produce goodies and how uh, they deliver services okay, for the customer. You can, you know, you know, you can take production aspect as um, uh, one of the business operation characteristics, and then prepare questions, uh, prepare uh, prepare questions on it, and then ask uh, uh, the owners of the micro and the small enterprises, and then you can you can analyze. Then you can also um, study about sales and the marketing aspect is about the promotion how the micro and the small enterprises um, promote their product how they promote about their uh, service okay and how they sell uh, their products their services okay this is uh, another um, business operation character six finance you can study the finance about their business resource um, about the businesses resource about their investment type investment size okay you know the sector of the investment you can um, study the finance from different point of view you can um, study the you know the tax um, the, the the tax that they pay and the tax category whether they are you know category a category b category c depending upon how uh, the categories are um, set in uh, your country in, in the countries of your preference and assignment you can also study how uh, the roles and the responsibilities are shared assigned in in the micro and the small enterprises this business operation characteristics okay you can study the communication methods okay how the employees communicate it how the team is in the uh, business um, um you know implementation is um you know administered and all you can Okay, it is about business operation characteristics we are talking. You can also study the resource management, how they resource, how they effectively and efficiently use the resource, how uh, they uh, reduce uh, you know resource um, wastage, and all you can study. Okay, uh, such characteristics. You can study their customer service. Okay, how business address the needs and the queries of uh, the questions of customers. Okay how they handle the customers, how they retain customers, 
how they uh, the, how they keep the satisfaction of their and how they increase the satisfaction of their customers how they relate um, with their customers okay human resource how uh, people are managed okay employees are managed teams are managed in the business enterprise administration you can also study you know the administration how businesses follow up regular activities of their business all just are the business operation characteristics therefore in the specific objective one um as i have said at the outset i am not um prescribing or i am not uh, i mean um, forcing you to study all these things but depending upon your interest then you can uh, you know study uh, such uh, business operation characters exist in your study and um, another thing is that uh, the specific objective uh, two is about uh, examining the performance of micro and small enterprise and uh, there are performance indicators there are performance indicators uh, like a profitability like productivity like market share like um, sales volume cash flow liquidity return on investment return on equity okay all this um, you can uh, you can take this indicators into consideration and uh, prepare uh, questions on uh, this indicators and ask the micro and the small enterprise owners and then um, you can analyze um, you, know, you can just uh, present how uh, they are performing from the point of from the point of view of one of uh, this or two of these um, this um, um, indicators of performance okay it depends upon your choice whether to uh, take profitability or productivity or market share or sales volume cash flow liquidity or return on investment uh, to study the performance of um, the micro enterprises that uh, those are um, more of financial indicators of performance and uh, there are other indicators okay non financial indicator that you can uh, consider like um this balance scorecard or pcc um, use this indicators uh, from the financial perspective from learning and cross perspective from internal business process perspective and from customer perspective and there are indicators um, uh, under each uh, of uh, the dimensions okay each under each dimension okay from uh, under financial uh, perspective there are uh, indicators uh, uh, business performance indicators learning and uh, growth perspective there are indicators customer perspective there are indicators under it and in, in internal business process there are indicators under it if you are interested you can study uh, the performance uh, of micro and small enterprises from this perspective if you if you get if you can get in, uh, data on, on on them okay if you if the enterprises that you are studying are uh, um, capable of giving you uh, data on all these things then you can examine okay you can evaluate the performance of the micro and the small enterprises on all the suspects and, uh, it will add uh, um, quality to your papa no problem okay they will uh, carry um, advantages to your papa no problems if you, the point is that will you get data on it is uh, okay is the question okay therefore what I mean here is that I am not prescribing, okay? I am not, um, you know, commanding you to use um, all just uh, performance indicators, but I am telling you just at the a potential uh, performance indicator that you can use in your study, um, you know, to accomplish the specific objective uh, two of uh, the topic that we are using as an example. Then, uh, specific objective three. Factors to identify factors influencing the performance of micro and small enterprises. Okay, uh, in this stage, what we do is that we already stated um, uh, we we stated the performance of okay we stated the performance of micro and small enterprises. 
maybe on profitability and productivity okay then our interest in, uh, in our this stage is that uh, for example uh, given the profitability okay the profitability of uh, the profitability data of the micro and the small enterprises what are the factors okay what are the factors that affect this the perform the profitability let us say profitability or if you if we interested in productivity what are the factors affecting the productivity if we are uh, interested in um, return on investment as a performance of as a performance indicator of micro and small enterprise then what are the factors uh, that influences or that uh, uh, will affect the performance of uh, micro and small enterprises in terms of return on investment then the uh, the following list okay, they are not exhaustively listed they are not um, you know all the um, variables that can affect um, the performance of micro and small enterprises but just uh, you know i i listed uh, the possible variables okay the possible variables that can affect the performance of uh, micro and small enterprises whether it is in terms of profitability whether it is in terms of liquidity whether it is in terms of um, return on investment or cash flow you know by uh, by any um, indicator okay by any indicator we measure um, the performance of micro and small enterprises just at the possible uh, independent variables okay dependent uh, independent variables that can affect the performance owner is motivation and the drive um, experience in the business okay the owner is experience in the business capital okay it can be initial capital it can be current capital um, business plan whether the the the, the enterprise have a, a, a plan or a clearly a written plan or not trust in doing business uh, especially when the, the enterprise is a partnership or um, sometimes a corporate businesses there should be a trust between and or among the um, owners therefore the, whether there is trust or not uh, the level of trust management quality in the business enterprise business re registration whether the business as license license or not okay whether it is registered or not registration um, record keeping whether there is um, appropriate record keeping of uh, the uh, cash flow in the um, in the enterprise education training of the business owners okay whether the um, owners are uh, educated or getting training um, or uh, capacity building education professional advice and consultation okay with uh, the enterprise uh, getting uh, professional advice from uh, the uh, professionalists working in the government organizations or um, as a consultant a, co a consultant um, agencies a working premises okay whether the enterprises have shades okay or their own shades or rented shades or, okay technology use business size linkage to market or access to market quality of product or service uh, market information market share customer characteristics infrastructure factors government decisions rules and policies access to credit competition owners characteristics political legal issues all this okay can affect the performance of micro and small enterprises and you can uh, you can um, uh, create categories you can uh, identify i only financial uh, uh, financial factors non financial factors internal factors external factors okay you can identify from this list uh, the internal factors external factors and you can use um, uh, both external and internal factors in your study or only one of them you can um, categorize the variables into financial and the non financial 
and they use only financial or non-financial or both of them it depends on uh, your interest and uh, the um, the extent to which you can get uh, data from the um, micro and small enterprises that you are um, studying uh, therefore it is in such a way uh, that you can um, frame the variables okay the variables for your uh, uh, study okay especially if when you are about to uh, study the factors influencing the performance it is at this is the you know when you are uh, studying when you are accomplishing this uh, specific objective in the first chapter of your paper then you will be forced to use statistical tests statistical models okay and we will uh, uh, reach on on that part okay at this point it is um, uh, advisable for you to just understand that when you are about to study factors influencing the performance of micro and the small enterprises you will have performance data okay you will have performance da data on profitability or productivity market share sales volume cash flow uh, liquidity or return on investment you can have uh, data on this then you will have uh, data on this uh, indicate you know uh, factors that will influence uh, performance of micro and the small enterprises and then you will bring uh, together the uh, data of the dependent and independent variables and uh, can um, study how the independent variables influence the dependent variable and we will reach on how to use uh, which um, statistical model is which statistical test will uh, be used at, at this stage it is just uh, enough to understand that you have a dependent variable that is a performance and independent variables uh, that can be financial non-financial internal or external uh, variables and the list is not exhaustive i just exemplified to uh, understand